What are we gonna do now? Well, I mean, I've been thinking, and it seems as if uh, no matter how many films we make, we're always gonna make a lot of money off them. So, so, so if it wasn't for this, we wouldn't be making all this money. So as long as we have this, we will be making money all over. You're life. right. We are not gonna burn this can. Well, we have each other, right? Step aside, this is my ride. I pop in my pickup truck and hold on tight. Fishing, dishing, cooking, chicken, mama serves the best baked beans. Pick up guitars, country rock stars, cowboy hats, and torn up jeans. Grasses grow well, I've been mowing. Wind is blowing, and I'm thinking about trucks. Think about her, really? What is that? Uh, it's an auto harp. An auto harp? Yep. Spencer's mom. Came from her house. Oh. And here is Andrew's new camera. It's awesome. And here we have the same thing as last time. $40 phone project team layers agreement. Andrew McMurray. Andrew M. Films. I was going to put in background music later. Okay. So what are we doing today? Uh, well, I signed the team leaders agreement and we are going to... Wait, for what? For, uh, the, uh, we have to take the kickoff. Kickoff? Like football or something? Yeah, we're going to go play some football. Like, Actually, we... didn't tell you, AB. After, uh, like, what is, what is he doing here? Oh, uh, he's like, the, what is he he's the ref. But, are we making a movie or something? Wait, no. We're playing football. We're going football. to the kickoff in like With that? Hour. Yeah, this is football. Football. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yep, kickoffs in about an hour, waiting for Joe and Austin. We'll go here in about 30 minutes, right? So, here at Andrew and Films, I'm uh, Matthew McMurray. I'm the, the cousin or brother, so to speak, of. The great Andrew McMurray. Here's my little den. This is where all the magic happens. You know, all that music magic, all that good stuff, all that guitar playing, piano playing, whatnot, jittery do, whatever. My sweet baby, my gorgeous, my all, my everything, my muse. I haven't named her yet because, but, uh. You got a string pretty much on every note. Do some crazy stuff like that. But with the press of a button, C major. You got it. G7. Why not? Oh. Huh. <laughs> Don't try this at home, folks. Um, quick seven. question. Mm -hmm. Are you doing music for this? Yes, I am. I am the music purveyor for this 48 hour project. SMS. It always hurts. Getting it always hurts. Getting your clothes back from your ex girlfriend, that's always nice. You broke up with her? Break up with you, too. First hour on the job and I get fired. That's great. Where's he going? Matthew, come back! Ah! Matthew! Ah! Come back to me! Ah! Matthew! 
Life at Andrew and Films is great. <laughs> where is Joe? Joe, where are you? He said he'll, oh, he texted me. He said we'll be here a little after five. Oh. Okay. So Joe's a liar and he's fired. He's 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 quit. Hola. How's it going? How are you doing, man? How's it going? Did you make this happen? Yeah. Yeah. Ready for it? Actually, I'm, I'm very unusually stress-free this time. Good. I don't oh, know why. Just give, give, give it a second. <laughs> <laughs> give it one second. Oh, Let's we get our, our category. Just wait till the kickoff, man. Yeah. Oh, awesome. What's up? Looking good, man. You are looking good. Garrett's on his guys? way. Doing good. What? what do we have to? Garrett's on his way. He'll be here Garrett, in a minute. Okay. Do I know Garrett? He was the first zombie in Nazi I knew Zombies. It. I knew that was good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The really extremely creepy one. Yes. <laughs> that one. I know exactly what you're talking about. Come on, Mr. Slowpoke. Coming, coming. Coming, dear, coming. Or see if I feel it if or, I say if I say what I want to draw, I'm gonna be really disappointed when I don't draw it. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I'm wanting to draw anything out of there. <laughs> But horror, please. <laughs> Look, whatever you guys draw, God. just dark do whatever you can because you guys are filmmakers. Act like it. Tanner, you're fired. Tanner, you're rehired. Tanner, you're fired. Tanner. Yes. Rehired. I'm rehired. Don't, don't listen to him. Tanner. Oh, actually, you know what? Hey, yeah, who's the team leader here? Andrew or Matthew? Andrew, I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Fired. I guess I'm rehired. Comedy. 
and we came up with this really freaky idea, or actually, Andrew and Matthew did because I'm not involved with the story this time, I'm just documenting behind the scenes. Yeah, fair deal anyway. Uh, oh man, I hope this goes well. It's, I mean, I know this is pretty early, but we already have like a perfect like beginning and ending kind of thing. Like it starts out like kind of like office space or in the office and like uh -huh. they just see the guy. But at the end, like after they escape his house, they're like at the office, like, oh my god, that just happened, like because they escaped his house. The guy comes yeah. into work, he's like, hey guys, it's like, oh man. And since he's like a cannibal, because that's our new plot twist, he's a cannibal. Yeah. <laughs> he like he pulls out his lunch, he starts like eating meat, and they just like look at each other and they're like, oh my gosh. And then like cut the black. <laughs> <laughs> we we had another idea that for the, like, one of the, the best moment of the whole thing, what we thought, would be their hiding, of course, and the guys look oh, at yeah, no. their house, and they get caught, and he goes, what do you, you know, the, he goes, what are you doing here? Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth, and surprise! You know, because <laughs> sure, we were there. I didn't well, think about him getting caught. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing is a, a we're there to, thing for is, a surprise like, I had party. I an idea because it would, it would be hilarious. I already told him the, the ending. Yeah. 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 It's almost like party, like, like party surprise! decorations for everything. Yeah. So, well, I, I love that. It's like so. a party horn. The beginning is hilarious. Yeah, party horn, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I, I remember when did you, you came up with that idea? That's a great like, that's a I remember I remember we told Caleb and Caleb was like crying. Like, whatever the whatever they're fight wherever the they're hiding. Or whatever. Like, you see what I mean? It's crazy. They're even thinking about using a uh, horn as a prop. That's what we're supposed to do. One of like uh, one of the characters gets killed by a horn as a booby trap. Pretty weird, huh? I think the the initial surprise is hilarious because. I, uh, yeah, our original was like him being naked. I don't know where you'd go from that, but like if you just had the most absurd routine, but I mean, that'd be more generic. Oh, I mean, if you guys want to go dark, is there yeah. a dark comedy genre though? Yeah. Yes, I think it should be completely generic and completely, not necessarily lighthearted, but nothing like, it's a, like, oh, this is a funny comedy movie. These guys are stuck in an awkward situation and then yeah. right before it's about to end, yeah, yeah. hits the fan. I like that. <laughs> you know, yeah. like. So it starts out generic, but it becomes dark. Yeah. Yes. I think we really should really throw in little hints. It'd be, it'd be yeah. funny if... Well, I mean, the no. generic stuff has to be weird as yeah. shit. <laughs> and there's no doubt we can come up with some generic shit. We're possibly more and more bizarre. Like, we're saying generic. I don't, I don't think we mean generic as an unfunny. Yeah. It feels like oh, no. hilarious. But it, it's just kind of like, you know, the well, same well, comedy plot, dark. like, you know, like, <laughs> not these, dead these guys are breaking, like, yeah. it starts out as the story about these guys breaking into their friend's house, yeah. because this friend has no friends, yeah. and yeah. they're like, we like this guy, we like, we like he's not that it's strange, a, it's his birthday. I mean, he's not a f***ing, you know, retard or anything, you know, like, it's, it's his birthday, birthday, right? Yeah. It's his birthday. It's his birthday. Yeah, so they're yeah. doing the whole surprise thing. Yeah. What if? In his refrigerator, the meat that he has is named, and like they have, oh, it has their no, occupation, no. so yeah, like it's like packed it. up, and it's like this guy is Andy Benoit, the plumber. <laughs> oh, the no. Yeah, Andy Benoit. There's B E N O I T. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, I can literally see the the shot in my face of like the intensity of this dude, like, you know, in a dress or, you know, yeah. in like an apron with his ass showing or something, <sighs> like opening up the, the you know, the closet and then, surprise, <laughs> you know, like, that moment to me I feel like would be a huge payoff. Well, what are you thinking as far as like, do you want to do any special effects, like guns I mean, or anything? I mean, if we don't. If we, if we, if, I don't not, if it's it, not necessary, like, let's not do does it. Does anything come to mind? Because I don't want to force it, and I can't think of anything except for I'm, like I'm over smoke coming out of the so. stove or something. Because he's burning the body. So maybe we should just focus on cinematography <laughs> more than the else. The only way that I think we could add in a cool way to show off your special effects would be, is if at some point the crazy guy just went. Nuts with a shotgun in the house, and we, you know, it was just us freaking. Yeah. Maybe the slave escapes and he goes nuts. Well, they start trying to shoot. The slave starts killing everybody. Like he's half eaten, he's still alive. He's like, you son of a bitch! I think uh, it would be if we're gonna, as far as showing like what he's doing, the things that get more grotesque. For our ease, 
it'd probably be like good to select like two or three max because it's going to be difficult to show like we're going to have to have a lot this of this is only going to be a seven minute movie max yeah. Yeah. so yeah, like if, like you know if there's a scene where he's about to chop something or something you could cut to the party hat and like show maybe some blood goes on the party hat or something <laughs> yeah me and austin and garrett were talking about it like we we want a script to have yeah. you know and stuff yeah. like that so no we won't we, we, we'll you guys could a write a script yeah um, we can write you a draft Tonight, give it to you, yeah. and you guys will go over yeah. it. Whatever we can you do. You guys can also... It's the 48 Hour Film Project. It's People are usually like struggling with their idea, trying to come up with the right idea. They've already come up with pretty much the whole entire... And all we have to do is write it. All I have to do is write it. Yep. Shoot it tomorrow. All indoor shots, so it doesn't matter what the weather is. Um, and... Um, that's it! Well, we saw a lot of them. Got a storyboard. I'm trying to figure out, obviously, so maybe they're looking over what they're looking at. That's what we have to look at. Andrew's doing storyboards, Matthew's doing music. What about you? I am playing Battlefield 3. Okay, just getting those creative juices flowing. Get one. And then he just, just like wipes it off. You. Well, um, going over the script that Matthew and I wrote last night at uh, seven in the morning, so. We were very loopy, and we're gonna make sure that's all, you know, readable. And then, um, uh, give it to Joe and them. Let them read it, see what they think, and then get the costumes and the props, and then get started. How many cups of coffee are you gonna have this morning, just to get through um, the day? This is my first one. I'll probably get through at least twelve. In the next hour. Hmm. You can just get a shot of, we can do camera trick, you do a shot outside the door of them opening it, have a real up close, you know, like of the hand opening it, and just make it feel like it's inside. The thing is, they all like, go in and the grab the so key. Far, then the door we're already towards to the end of the movie. And hardly any words have been said. Oh, okay, okay. And the I'm blood sorry, has sorry, yet sorry. to be shed. I'm a poet. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Cut to black. Yours truly. Step aside, this is my right. Up in my pickup truck in a long time. Just we got it. Lie, got the script right here. Baby, oh baby, oh baby. Been up since. Staying up till about 7 in the morning writing this thing. It's always just you and me. Yeah. It always ends up just yeah, it's all, like it always it just dwindles down. Everyone starts going to bed and it's always me and Andrew and we're both just saggy eyed. I would not go in there unless it's an emergency. No. I'm good, Andy. We just staple this together. I wrote the whole thing on sleeping medication. So I didn't think we were gonna be rewriting it. And then I took my sleeping meds and we read it and we're just like, we're probably gonna have to do a rewrite. And they're just like, Matthew, uh, you, you're, you're the bot, you're the writer guy, let's do it. And I just, I wrote it. No one else could have done it either, because yeah. like, I would have fallen asleep. He wrote a script on Is it just Norris 12? Did fall asleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, Norris 12. And I, I wrote the whole thing, uh, after, like it started, the sleeping medicine started kicking in after like the third line. And I was just, I was so lost and confused, but... 
it's all one big blur, but apparently I wrote a script and it's all done. So. You guys want to get like equipment rounded up? Like, probably need to that, do that would be wise. Cause it's already eleven. Sure. In fact, we this, we need to start. That is amazing. I like the other one better. The other one has yeah, a much the, more the blank other one's expression. Too. Yeah. Oh, this is the creepiest thing <laughs> oh, I've ever bought. Man. I'm not gonna feel keep comfortable. Keep this one for oh, okay. So we need to put this in our living room. Oh my god. This is going in my room. <laughs> yes, this oh. is getting it right here. This was oh, great. Got oh. 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 No. Can we have the panties too? <laughs> yeah. Like. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's the weirdest day ever. <laughs> oh. Okay, nice. Right. It comes off. This that might be the be creepiest thing we've ever filmed. <laughs> okay, let's put that. Yeah. Oh, this is oh, going to be man. great walking out with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to put this up in our living room. Just based on the character read it. I think the whole thing's still based on the story. Like, we, I think we should read through each version and see how okay. long it takes. Sure. Hear the whole thing, and then that's that's the only way I think we can actually critique it to get the best parts of each yeah. one. And make the only it thing I noticed, I mean, the biggest difference I think between this one and this one is yours has a lot more like wisecracking in it. Just like a lot more like what's the word for it? Just like it's yeah, more like yeah. banterish stuff. While the like while these guys yeah. are just more like plain face, just like we super just bad types, super bad type, awkward like Michael Sarah, so Jonah Hill characters. And they're just like so reacting. You know. That was your problem. So too much wisecracking, too much banter. Yeah, sorry. Yeah? You do remember this is a comedy, right? Shut up, idiot. But you can see that stuff that could be cut, like trimmed down. I agree. Oh, yeah. That's a little too yeah. much. Yeah, the first thing we have to say about that is we like want to like keep the dialogue like succinct to what's going on. Yeah. I think it's like one line for each. Make sure it's make sure every line of dialogue now we're at the door. is straightforward towards mm -hmm. the plot and the development. Cut in the house, just busting through the window. Up. Right, guys. I feel like this might be a felony. Really smelling. We're throwing the guy a surprise. Saying something, then rhyming it with a sh shmee. With shmee. a shmee. Shmee. At the shmee. beginning shmee. doesn't make it less illegal. Jerry's right, but I'm already pumped about this cake, and the adrenaline from right is racing after we open that window. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty crazy. We opened the window right up, and and then we closed it. <laughs> they put the string on the frame, so I can be seen. The group attempts to surprise Frank, but notices he is wearing nothing but an apron and his pink underwear. They retreat in fear and horror. Like, our idea, we had, like, in my house, there's that bar. And they, they're going to be behind the, the wall there. Like, if you're looking there, they're going to be back here. And he's going to come and set the record down and turn around and be walking out. And the, the shot that we had in mind, where all three of us were going to, like, run out. And then, and then, like, run right back and then go back into cover. And then... I see what you're saying. While, while my back is turned, just yeah. dancing. Yeah. Yeah. So what do we do? Can't surprise a man in his underwear. It's embarrassing for everyone. The group goes in the living room noticing the mannequin and freaks out accordingly. Did you say something? I feel like you're trying to tell me something. We never talk anymore. It's like I'm communicating with an inanimate object. Cut Look, the group telling each other to Erica, I know you wanted filet mignon with pea snaps, so I put that on for you, but I feel like liver tonight, personally. I'm gonna go get some from this downstairs freezer. Frank goes off to talk to the mannequin and say something about telling him the truth about Andy. Because, like, we thought that there could be just an improv thing where Austin's like, Oh, well, tell me the truth about Andy, then. the plumber? I know about you. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, all that's sorts why. Of ridiculous he's dead, shit. Yeah. And they open the tarp, grab the keys, and break through the door. I forgot the cake. No one cares about the cake, Jerry. Frank is a cannibalistic murdering psychopath. We need to get out of here. He's talking to a mannequin and chopping up bodies like meat on his mini bar. Nice. Alright, what are we looking for? We're yeah. trying to um, buy underwear. women's underwear. Which, okay, so our, our it's pretty foreign. character, Frank, I swear there's like 50,000. He just revealed inside. that he likes to, he likens himself to wear women's underwear. I like these. I like these right here. The very. Now. Oh, ooh, lace. Lace. Nice. Lace. Also, 
Um, or just flowers on this one. Walmart. Ooh. Yeah. I'm thinking simple, though. So yeah. Keep well, these are going to bring up some really bad uh, aliasing, though. Good point. Good point. I like polka dot, maybe. Where'd that polka dot one go? Well, so the polka dot's really over here. But this is like bikini, so like, I don't know. Yeah, we don't, we want like, wait, this this one right over here. Oh man, there's more. Man, how come, girl, how come guys don't have these many choices for underwear? We always just like, boxers, briefs, or boxer briefs. Why can't we get like, boy, like boy briefs, boy briefs, high cuts. I want some polka dot boy briefs. Hipsters. I want some polka dot boy briefs. Quote unquote. Andrew. Andrew in films. 2013. Hashtag. I don't know. I'm so tired right now. I should mention right now that I'm running off probably two hours of sleep. I just drank. Um, apparently Starbucks has this secret beverage. I went up there and I was just like, what's your most dangerous drink? And they're just like, well, it's not on the menu, but it's called a teardrop. It's basically just straight up espresso. So I'm like, all right, I'll have five. <laughs> That's, but it, it, it might be too revealing. They're really small. I want, Maybe I like the, I like the big, but yeah, I just drank like probably 450 milligrams of caffeine. And I feel like even more Bring tired now, we'll so. See. Yeah, good idea. That might be what we're going for. Okay. So I was just like, give me your most dangerous espresso drink. They're like, okay, but this is not the way. It's just straight up espresso. It's 3.30, so we think haven't started filming at all today, how do you soon. feel? Uh, okay, surprisingly okay, just because. For the record, I would. I feel sick. Awesome. <laughs> because. Alright, um, we're going to be in that because. cafe, you know where that is? Like, I would be much more stressed door, if we were filming outside. outside. I'll, I'll we're filming all indoors, which, in. and for the shots, mainly they are outside. On the right so, side if you're facing the uh, no. It's dark outside. Um, All right, so it works. They're coming in. Most of our shots that needs to be dark outside, and that's good. So as long as we have good lighting, I we'll get it done. Up. All right, what? We'll see though. They're coming in. Okay. I mean, it does suit. Would you have pins? Spencer, but Would you have pins if you guys want? Now, what this but maybe like? I don't know. Oh, those yeah, caps like. fell off. If we all have pins, would that look weird, or would it be like we all kind of have the same job? Would it give that kind of effect? I don't know. If pins will fit in this. Well, if you do, like, clip it like that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe... Oh, oh, oh I know what you're doing. What are you doing? What you're doing. You're doing. You're doing. You're doing. Notice the posture feed that I... Andrew, you are doing. I know what Pins. you're doing. What? Pins. Pins. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks good. I like that. That looks businessy. What about for Joe and uh, Garrett as well? Okay, but can we you? Not have them just because all of you having them. I say Jam doesn't have pins. You and me pins. Okay. Wait, I'm just, actually really curious right now. Matt, do you get you get the script? You want to kind of tell them real quick? Can we actually get, get some scripts? Oh, man, it's crazy working with actors. <laughs> it's weird. Okay. I um, feel like I'm. <laughs> all right, guys. Wrapping up. See you later. Okay. Well, Frank, you're coming out to ball games with us later tonight, right? I don't think so. Oh, well, come on, man. It's your birthday. It's birthday. Yeah, your it's your birthday. Why not? Uh, you know, I have to... I have to... to, to drive. <laughs> <laughs> I can't drive. Yeah. Frank, it's one beer. We'll have you back by the lane. Promise, we don't got work tomorrow. I got work too. I, I gotta go. Yeah, if we could wrap that up just a little quicker. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Quicker. quicker, quicker with the stuttering. And Austin, when you're when you're wrapping up there, yeah. you know, just just make it a little bit more <laughs> uh, to yourself. Oh, and one quick that was really suggestion. Good. 
Like maybe have a delay after for, after every question. Just like you ask him a question, he'll like look at him and he'll be like. Okay. I got it. I really so, like. Yeah. yeah, that was just good. Like, kind of just like he has like this and weird. Then, and then what we'll we'll pick up. You know, we'll leave. It'll be a cut. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, it'll be like we've got to do something for this guy. Surprise party. All right. Go. Pickles are good. Put salt on them. Yeah, it's good, Frank. I like pickles too. Wrapping up, guys. Wrap it up. Frank, you're still coming to Mulligan's with us, right? Come on, get one beer. <laughs> Bye! I kind of feel bad for the guy. Doesn't the floor usually throw parties on people's birthdays? I don't think anybody on our floor knows Frank really exists. Yeah, we gotta do something for him. Surprise party. We're smart. Uh, we would never drop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I don't know if you saw anything you just did, but it was pretty ridiculous. Was, I, I, I was, 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 was trying out the last one. Like, his pickles way. over. I was awkward watching it. Also, it so also, weird. also guys, make I'm sure you friend. remember what you do in the shot. Okay, so. Um, just the only place, the only thing about the locations of the record player and the keys. What's what's gonna happen is Frank is in here cooking, yelling to his man. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm ready for the pea snaps, honey, and all that crazy stuff. <laughs> and then he says, "Well, I'm gonna go to the freezer." As he's leaving, we come walking in. That could be a beautiful shot of him leaving and us oh, three filing in to get right in here. I love that. Even crawl back in there, like yeah. to get a really wide yeah. angle of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll be filling to at least five. Shit. And what's good about that is when we're all tired. As the night progressively goes on, we're gonna get more and more like drained, and we're gonna be like, it's gonna we're actually gonna get some really realistic performances from everyone. <laughs> you gotta stay chill. Ten forty-five. We'll be filming until five. It's ten forty-five. Yes. I thought it was midnight. No, Damn, dude. We got, we got time. Oh wow. We're good, but we'll be here all the time. You ready to cry? Oh, I'm ready. I got everything mentally prepared. Uh, last year we started around noon, finished around 4:30. Uh -huh. This year we started around 4:30 and finished at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Now it's 9 o'clock, and we have about 10 hours to edit this thing. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have any special effects in it, so it shouldn't be that hard. No special effects at all. None. Wow. Yeah. I just can't believe you're cool with all that. I mean, it's not exactly a typical Andrew M. Films film, is it? Yeah, well, it's a, didn't really want to do a typical Andrew M. Films, honestly. Didn't really feel like it. Why not? I don't know. I guess when I'm doing a film festival, I'd rather do something more film-like and not video-like. So... That's why. That's great. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're a filmmaker. You don't have to do the same stuff all the time. You have to show people what you can do with other genres, other techniques. <clears throat> exactly. That's what I think this is going to do. So. That's what I'm expecting. They're going down because he just got here. So they're going down, getting all ready. Oh, they're so excited. 
Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, they're so excited. Oh, I just got there. He opens the door. There he is. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh. They have no idea. Three, two, one. Boom, surprise! <laughs> That's a great shot. That is a wonderful shot. Last night, I was the character of Andy ben Benoit Benoit, the deck plumber character, and I was dragged across the carpet twice, in which my shirt was unfortunately upheaved, and I, I gained a very serious rug burn. And, uh, this is the cure. Oh! 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 Exorcism right now. <laughs> Thanks for not cussing on camera. <laughs> oh yeah. Shadows, shadows, at least we have lighting. Action, action, what's your fraction? Just remember, we're making a comedy. Get out. Say please. F you. Get out of my house. <laughs> I know you've been seeing other people. It was that plumber, wasn't it? It was Andy Bernard. Tell me the truth! He's been fixing more than toilets, hasn't he? He's been <laughs> fixing you up, Anthony. Well, I got a surprise for you. Surprise. Okay, so, the Andrew M. Films production surprise party is nominated for Best Directing, Best Actor, Best Story, and Best Film. Also, it was nominated for Worst Film. <laughs> I am very happy. Oh, cool, I like that. Out of the several years that I've done the 48 Hour, that definitely makes it all worth it, since I've never actually been nominated for that many awards. Last year, I won Best Directing. This year, will I win Best Directing? Nope. No. Will I win Best Story? Why not? Story? No. No. Because I'm not a good director. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Yeah, I'm not a good director. Yeah, he's awful. I'm kind of surprised you guys. Uh, I'm surprised you were nominated for best cinematography. Me too. Me too. Me too. Especially that one shot of like uh, that shows like the ceiling and it's like uh, they're trying to move and he's like yeah. dancing. Yeah, yeah. We had to put the camera on a tripod, lift it up in the air yeah, me, with my new camera. Or how about the shot at the end where it's like awesome standing there and you see Spencer in the reflection of a mirror? You know, it's okay, we don't need that. best directing. I mean, best cinematography. Yeah.
Surprise!